Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. The Black Friday sale is on right now, so don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of WinLadder Mali 1.8, which is available in both Glibc version and Proot version. All right, so in this update, they have made a lot of changes. Mono and Gecko installers have been added for offline setup and experimental gaming wrappers like D3, D8 to 9 are now available. There's a new fixes section and game presets for Far Cry 1 and Driver San Francisco have been added. Before installing this update, you need to uninstall the old WinLater Mali version. So here I'll go with Glibc version, which is currently stable. Install package. Currently I'm using Redmi Note 13 powered by Dimensity 6080 chipset. All right, now open WinLater Mali. Allow permission, same as usual. Okay, now go to settings. Set box 64 version to 0.3.0. Also preset to performance. Now save settings. Add new container. Set screen resolution to lowest 800 by 600 or lower for better performance. Graphic driver is already set to VirGL. DX wrapper to Wine D3D. Enable FPS meter. Same as usual. Set video memory to 2 gigs this time. On environment variables, make sure Mesa GL version is assigned with version 2.1. Now to advanced. Select startup selection to aggressive. Set processor affinity to all CPU cores. All right, now save container. Now boot the container. Now go to start. Install. Here install recommended files. In game presets, they added two more new presets as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Now to system tools. Check out Direct3D. All right, it's working. But if you get black screen, try to restart container again to apply driver changes. All right, now we are going to test driver San Francisco. Okay, but before doing this, simply go to start, to game presets. Install this game preset. Each game presets have their own driver settings and can be applied. All right, now okay, now go to the game folder. Create game shortcut to the container desktop. Now exit container. Now go to shortcuts, to this game settings. Here set this game resolution to 1280 into 800, because by default this game only accept this resolution to load data. Here VirGL and DX wrapper are already set. Preset to performance, everything. Now select OK. But you can change the resolution inside of the game to even lower. I'll show you. And this game is quite demanding and CPU intensive DirectX 9 game for Mali GPU. Let's first test it on 720p low settings. VSync is disabled. Today is a good day. Today the feds are giving me a parade across town. So, we straight? <laughs> on everything except the price. We agreed on 20.
No, let's test it on a seven-year-old Exynos low-end Mali device with only four gigs of RAM. Simply follow these steps, use these settings. And also set video memory to one gigabyte or five 12 megabytes if you are using four gig RAM device or lower. All right, and there we go. We already set this to low 600p resolution. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked also to subscribe us. I'll do a video on CMOD Mali too. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.